we got a note from uh, from one of our producers in Phil- uh, Todd in Philadelphia. Um, at 8.30 the night before the election, the Pennsylvania Secretary of the Commonwealth quietly issued guidance to the polling officials to release the identities of voters whose mail-in ballots were rejected according to the voting requirements established by the General Assembly. The Democrats had clearly been planning this and trained hundreds of people for it. They obtained that information, ran outside to communicate it to the party, who then went and called all of these voters on the list, only Democrats, apparently, to get them to come submit a provisional ballot, which would you know, fix whatever they had done wrong. Which is, in general, okay, great, if you can catch people and uh, say, hey, you did it wrong, come back and, and, and do it right. But if you only do it for one party or, or for one candidate, that's not equal provision under the law. So this is another thing that may come out. It can all come out. It probably all will come out. And it is scandalous. And when somebody pointed out in Twitter, I, I, I heard Biden talking about this. I have a clip of it even. Mm-hmm. But when somebody just kind of pointed out on Twitter that Joe Biden, creepy Joe, decrepit <laughs> old Joe, never was popular, has never done a, got anywhere trying to run for president, plagiarist, suddenly wins the most popular votes in the history of the United States. <laughs> Something is fishy. It's great. 